Blessings, we know you are ready. Greetings. Who are you? We are a collection of consciousness, and yet we are also expressing ourselves through three Pleiadian beings right now. We are also a place of consciousness of enlightened love and illuminating light. We are proud of you both. Thank you. We met a Bhutanese Rinpoche um, quite recently who was very impressed with Sapphire's abilities and connection or previous connection to Bhutan. He has offered to sponsor Sapphire to return to Bhutan for a month, possibly in January or February. Geraint uh, also may accompany her. Can you elaborate on the possibilities here? The land of the Thunder Dragon. Indeed, Sapphire has had many past lives in both Bhutan and Tibet, shall we inform. And yet, there is also a need to understand that this is the la last incarnation that Sapphire will be existing in, shall we say. There are still keys and pieces of information that she has yet to rediscover, shall we say. And indeed, returning to Bhutan for Sapphire would be highly beneficial. There will be many invites we would like to inform, and yet the first initial invite that feels warmth to the heart and full of light, lifting up so brightly, is correct that sooner rather than later, shall we say. There is much work to be done through enlightenment, through light, Sapphire is already on a higher realm of existence and yet she also has much to learn of how to utilise the light of which she communicates with, as she communicates strongly at times and yet also at times there are little gaps, shall we say, and these gaps need to be sealed, need to be perfected, for then the enlightenment process and the rainbow body will be actualized very soon, shall we say, in light years. And in the physical incarnation, it will be a divine blessing to many beings of consciousness. Indeed, returning to Bhutan and studying in this way is excellent, and yet we also remind you that the master is the master of light within, and that every master you have is ultimately empowering the master of light within. There is much work to be done, and yet it has already begun, shall we say. There is much to study, and yet, although a month seems like not a long time, a month can be a very long time. Just as you know you have done so much in six weeks, one month you can achieve miracles and majestic. It is about sealing the gaps. The first visit, the first invitation, is just for Sapphire, for she has to seal the gaps, shall we say. The second, the third, and indeed many more. You both will be involved, shall we say, in working with the higher energies of light. And yet there is also preparation to be done to make sure the physical body is taken care of. Just as you are both experiencing dry lips, shall we say, dry fingers, shall we say, little bit of breathing and altitude problems. In time, this will get worse unless you are prepared. So when Sapphire returns, she must be more prepared, shall we say, oiled up, shall we say. And indeed, the next times when you both visit together, you will be more and more prepared. And eventually, you will be spending at least half a year at times in Bhutan, living the spiritual light and living the spiritual truth. 
of the channeling of the light of who you both are. There is much we need to reveal and yet there is much you still need to understand. There is much we wish to expand upon. But some can be revealed to many and some can be revealed to some, shall we say. Just as with a drop in the ocean, the drop, one drop in the ocean affects all the drops. And yet there are many waterfalls and the waterfall is a spiritual blessing, a place of enlightened purification and understanding where the gaps are sealed. Waterfalls and pouring water is a place where spirit contact can be enhanced. And indeed, in areas where this occurs, then there is more understanding and more communication with the ultimate light within. There is much still needs to be revealed. And yet, pace by pace, wing by wing, feather by feather, shall we say, for the blue bird will follow everywhere. The blue birds now, not just one, but many are appearing and many are blessing your way and removing any evil forces for there is darkness that follows and yet you are protected, especially Sapphire is enlightened through the path of understanding the light and the love. For what is enlightenment? It is about understanding. It is not something that makes one eat one or another superior or one who has mastered something, shall we say. And yet it does mean mastery, and yet it means more of an understanding, a place of higher understanding and higher awareness, shall we inform. In Bhutan there is so much light, so much birthright and so much protection. In many other countries there are dark energies which will follow. In Bhutan they cannot follow for long for there is so much lightness and so much brightness. And indeed that is where we all belong, in the heart and realm of light, light, light. Thank you. You partly answered my next question. Um, Today we climbed to the tiger's nest, which is a monastery perched on a rock at about 10,000 feet. Um, when we were about halfway up, we saw several, several bluebirds. I, and I think you've explained their significance. What was the significance of the climb itself, if any. The climb was about not being on the radar, shall we say, to any dark forces. The more you walk, you chant, you hike almost seven, eight hours. You purify, you push your body, you push, 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 push your body through many altitudes, many realms of existence and you test your spirit and your mind for if you believe you will achieve the impossible. Indeed. The bluebirds purify and protect you and they always come when the Pleiades are communicating to you. It is your, both of your paths to see beyond the illusions. The illusions may be altitude sickness, it may be temptation, it may be other denser energies trying to change your direction, shall we say. And yet the blue birds always come with our blue light and blue energy of strength, of courage, and of sapphire wisdom, light, to keep you on your path. Always go up, look upwards, and don't look downwards. And yet we know there was a longing, especially for sapphire, that she understands there is much within, shall we say, within the temple, within the caves and within the land that is secret to many and yet is revealed to some, shall we say. Indeed, Sapphire will be invited to the caves on an auspicious ceremony 
as you will in the near future. And yet for now we say, just as the birds, the bluebirds, use their wings, it is time for you to keep using your wings. Fly on the wings of love and light. Not to worry and to sing the song of the chanting of the light of the blue light. For the work which you have both been doing is enlightenment on the realms of light working with the blue hue crystalline light. Pom pakatiki tiko shaka nikke daka sanka kampong tisha lako tisha bonti on my own joy 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 for the light is your birthright. The significance about climbing is about not succumbing to low energies. It's about using the song, using your wings, always going up, 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 up to the light, to the light. Sing the song, play the song of the light. Chanting the divine first right. Om bai noi 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 shoi noi boi noi noi. Om bai oi oi shin noi 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 sango kim boi pe mo ni. Om bai om bai doi zom ba kum ba san no bai oi 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 shum bai lai kim dom bai lo lo kum ba de ga. Pingo chakala katumba. Follow the way. There is much we have to say, and there is much more direction. There is much more travelling. And yet, on the wings, the blue wings of light and love. Blue wings of light. Blue wings of light and love. That direction is always up. Up. Always up. Please stop the video soon and commence again. Very well.